to my YouTube channel. I'm the Stone Shamaness, and today's grids have got the theme of unicorns. And uh, this particular large grid that I do for Gaia and us um, <clears throat> has a theme of creativity, but I have got the unicorn as the centerpiece, and um, I've also got lots of unicorn shells. So I'll, I'll just show you the grid. Okay, this is the grid. It's for creativity, it's a light language. And there's my unicorn, well, alicorn, because this one has the wings. Also, got a lovely crystal clear quartz dragon. I've got lots of these unicorn shells, I'm not sure of the name. Now, I've made these into a star shape. I've also got my pyramid that captures the light codes, the colour rays. I've got some lovely colour rays at the end of the video. I've got two porcelain um, angels, children. And I've shaped it into like a star shape. I've got my large crystal glass. <coughs> rock and another clear large crystal glass rock lovely angel here and she's staring at the um himalayan quartz not oh, sorry nirvana quartz so that's the grid and it's very important to have creativity it does make us happy and it keeps us closer to source I'm now going to show you the other grid. Okay, this grid is a unicorn grid um, and it's got lovely unicorn shells. I'm not sure of the actual name, but um, they represent the unicorn's horn. And I was lucky enough to find a bag of these shells um, this week. I got them at a bargain price as well, so I was quite pleased. Um, and they look really fantastic in the grid, so I'm really happy with these. Um, but they are supposed said to the unicorn's horn is said to open the third eye as well if you meditate with the unicorn horn. I'm now going to pull a shamanic card from the mystical shaman oracle. This is by Alberto Belodo, Colette Baron Reed, and Marcelo Lobos. Let's see what the message is for us today. <coughs> nice card. It's called The Beloved. I love the colours on that lovely deep red colour. And that's number five if you're into numer numerology. Five is about change. As the essence. The beloved is the recognition of spirit in another and moving towards spirit through the other. It is when the divine appears to us in the form of our child, our partner, our friend, and we experience being in love. As we grow, we start to recognise the beloved in everyone, not confusing their personality with their divine nature. And the invitation, accept the invitation to learn through the path of love expand being through union with one another when you recognize the beloved in another you call forth their highest and purest nature follow the path of love 
that's very good advice for us. Um, it's almost like when we say namaste, we honour the um, God inside the other person. So that's the same sort of um, thing to do. And the medicine is be careful with romantic love, the kind of love you fall in and out of. Own all the projections you have placed upon the person you are dreaming of. Remember that they are only mirroring back your deep longings, rather than revealing their true selves. If you fail to notice this, be prepared to walk through the fire of strong emotions once again. Okay, that's a nice message for us today. I'm now going to do a bit of light language. Um, and this one is to help with our creativity. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 